And what I have here is an Ed Fong tri-band. Sorry about that sideways view. It's a tri-band antenna. See, it's made out of uh, PVC tri-band. It's about five foot tall or so, whatever. Anyway, um, I've attached a piece of PVC at the bottom. Actually, it's the one that came with it to keep it straight. Um, with a couple of uh, host lamps and I've got some of the uh, Gorilla tape on there <clears throat> and This piece here This is just a piece of scrap aluminum from My buddy's shop Welded the uh, elbow on there and this is a uh, this is like an inch and a quarter So it actually slides right into that so I can still attach my antenna to the lead there what I'm doing is I'm going up here and trying not to die. I'm gonna attach it right up there at the peak. And then, uh, not right now, but I'm gonna be running a cable from inside of the house right through that vent. I'm coming up to the antenna, going inside, and it'll go into actually into this bedroom here, which is our second bedroom where I have my uh, shack. Um, we'll get to that when I get in there. but. Uh, I'm going to uh, punch a hole, I think, in the, the roof of the closet. And uh, it'll come down through the roof of the closet and then to my, uh, my unit. So set up here and so you can watch me fall off the, uh, the roof. These are the screws that I'm using and they suck. I wanted to use them because they're stainless, but they've been used before and the stupid Phillips, so I'm gonna get a better uh, better drive. Anyway, be back. Okay, I was able to find some alternates, but I just don't know if they're big enough. Ah. Didn't die yet. It's on there. Good you guys can see that. Oh, it's on there. So now I just need to put a uh, some uh, cable on the end of it. But I think it came out okay. I don't know what it'll do in the wind, but we'll find out when it's all windy. But so that piece that I made for the tubing to 
go onto it's aluminum, so it shouldn't rust at all. The other pieces I put in the screws that were galvanized. So I just got to make up the cable. First, I got to, I think I should run it from the, get up in the attic and then push it out. I don't want to make it on the ladder, but I push out far enough. I can get it down, you know, down to the ground. I can uh, make it, um, pop the screen off maybe right here and solder the end on out here and then go back up there and plug it in and then run it out. And I, I know what I want to do is to bring it down, um, down and then do like a loop back up. Not that big, but do a loop so that it has like a drip loop. So um, it won't run into the attic. It'll just drip and then go up back, connect to some of those little pieces there and then inside the attic. So that'll be for another time. Let me see again. Um, I've got my RG58 cable. I just threw a couple ends on it because I'm going to try my new antenna out tonight. Um, it's funny there. So, got the ladder set up again. So, my wife is working inside there today, kind of funny. Anyway, I'm going to go up there, hook it up, kind of drop the cable down. And then tonight, I'm just going to open up the window and put it inside and see if it makes sure it works. If it does work, well, then I'll do the old fish it through the housing. But for now, it's just going to be the oaky way. Okay, this is what I found up there yesterday. When, last time I was there, kind of cool. Knocked it down, abandoned. All right, well, I'm gonna move the ladder and then uh, fish through the house. Not exciting. We'll catch up with it later.